Hi friends, today I'm gonna be making akashi yaki. Akashi yaki is a regional cuisine of Akashi located in between Kobe and Himeji. The city faces onto the sea and famous for its bounty of seafood such as octopus. I was born and raised around that area and I grew up eating those fluffy egg balls. It looks just the same as takoyaki, but it's totally different. So let's get started. First things first, let's make aromatic dashi stock for the butter and dipping soup. Bring 3 cups of water to a boil and toss in 2 handfuls of katsubushi, which is more than typical dashi. Turn off the heat and leave it until katsubushi sink to the bottom of the pot for a couple of minutes. Strain into a bowl and save a cup of dashi stock for the dipping soup. Let the rest of the dashi stock cool to room temperature. Meanwhile, let's cut the ingredients. Slice your scallion into thin slices. Traditionally, we use mitsuba leaves, but scallion is another popular fragrance to add. Pour over boiling water to octopus to remove unpleasant smell and sticky things on the outside. What I got here is a pre-boiled octopus tentacle that we can find at the grocery store. Cut off the tips and discard. I don't know why, but our former generations don't want to use the tip of the octopus because it is poisoned. I know it's not true, but I don't want to use it. Pat dry and cut into small pieces. Set aside until used. Now let's prepare the butter. Sift flour into a medium sized bowl. Add in wheat starch and whisk to combine. Wheat starch is a flour that has been removed the gluten and it makes the texture creamy and thick but not sticky. You can replace with the rice flour or a cornstarch. Please check the description for the alternative ratio. Crack in 3 eggs and add a little bit of the broth and whisk until you get the very smooth butter. Make sure there is no lump remains. Pour in the rest of the dashi and strain into a measuring cup with a spout. All the ingredients are set. It's simple as you see. Here comes the fun part. Let's cook the akashiyaki. Heat your pan until really hot. Drop vegetable oil and grease the inside well. Just before pouring in, Whisk the butter again to even out the butter, and then fill the dent. Fill each mold with a piece of octopus. Before flipping over, scrape the butter in between each dent. Cook until the outside is just done. Use your chopsticks to rotate the butter. It may require practice, but take your time to make a nice bowl. Flip it over and rotate them until it gets nice crispy outside. Do not overcook, otherwise your akashiyaki becomes firm and the inside is not creamy. Take out the cooked akashiyaki and continue cooking the other bowls. Take out onto a rectangle wooden board. Traditionally, they serve akashiyaki on the wooden board because it is too soft to pick up with the chopsticks, so you can carefully slide onto the dashi soup as a dipping sauce. To make dashi dipping soup, ladle piping hot dashi into an individual serving bowl and season with rice soy sauce. Sprinkle with chopped scallions and carefully slide akashiyaki into the dashi soup and enjoy. Akashiyaki is steamy hot so the dashi soup should modify the temperature and add the aroma. Crispy on the outside, almost creamy on the inside. And the octopus gives it the chew. A lot of texture is going on your mouth and dashi dipping sauce adds a comfortable aroma to it. 
Akashiyaki is a summer treat for me because the octopus is in season in summer. I remember my grandmother brought me to an Akashiyaki restaurant that was so delicious. I hope you will give this recipe a try. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. And go to my website for the printable recipe and more information. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. Stay safe and stay healthy, and I will see you soon. Bye!